Hey guys, my name is Eric Martin Koppelman, and this is another another interview. And we spell that with a V U and an E instead of a V I D V I E W. Why do I do that? Because everybody out there has something to share. Everybody out there, you know, I, I was told a long time ago that if, and they said it just like this, Eric, if you'll just shut up, <laughs> if you just shut up and listen, maybe you'll learn something that you didn't know. And and that's the concept here is to talk to people from all walks of life that do all sorts of different things and say, hey, tell me what you're all about. Let me, let me hear what your opinion is. Let me hear what you do. Let me hear how you became successful. Let me hear about about your failures and how you shot back from that. And and this is what interview is all about. And it's I I love it because I get to talk to so many different people, you know, each and every day. And I hope that you're loving it too. Today, I am honored because not only am I interviewing an amazing man that does amazing things, but uh, I also call him friend. Uh, and Jeffrey Mark Bloom, of course, of Creative Resolutions Group, uh, which is at www.mymediationservices.com, is a mediator. And what he has done, uh, now being the uh, CEO, Chief Executive Officer of WhenYouNeedAMediator.com, what he has done is, and Jeff is like this, he's, always, he's a type of person that's always doing something to advance his industry. He believes in what he does. Um, he knows his business very, very, very well. And, well, let me just do this. Let me introduce Jim. Let me just bring him into the show. Jeffrey Mark Bloom, welcome to interview. Welcome, Jeff. Thank you, Eric. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm great, and I want to thank you for coming on, on the show with me today. You know what I wanted to talk to you about today? First off, let, let's take, take me back. Why mediation? Why, why a career in mediation? Why is Jeffrey Bloom a mediator? Can you tell me why, Jeff? I, I, without sounding cliche-ish, I, I, I enjoy helping people uh, resolve issues and conflicts, uh, especially via the mediation process or, or otherwise known as alternative dispute resolution, which gives them another viable option other than going through the litigation process. Uh, many people are, are still misinformed uh, and are told that they have to go to an attorney, they have to fight for what's right, and... And in the interim, they don't realize, and they wind up spending all their money, their time, they lose their sanity when there are, is another option out there. And that's what I provide. Now, you, you and I have talked off of the air, and as, as stated, you are a believer that mediation can solve problems in a in a faster way, okay, then, because we all know the way the courts are bogged down and such, and let's just face it that... You know, when you go to court, you'll go into court one day and they'll say, oh, you'll have a date maybe two months from that date or whatever it is. And I'm not talking bad about attorneys and I'm not talking bad about the courthouse, but I'm just we agree that there is there is another way to be able to solve a problem without having to deal with the anxiety and the drama of a courtroom. Correct. Correct. Absolutely. Okay, absolutely. So as and then as a mediator, you are an independent party. You're an independent individual, a neutral party, if you would. And basically, what is it, your job? Your job is not to give legal advice, but yet to listen? Is that what it is, Jeff? Or let's say, put, put me in a position where you're sitting there in front of two people that have a conflict. What exactly is it that you want to, what is it that you, what is your function at that table? Um, my function is a neutral third party. I'm not here to give legal advice. I'm here to help the parties work through the issues, get through the underlying issues, if there are any, so they can come out with an agreement at the end that works for both parties, not only now, but in the shadow of the future. So nobody knows what's best for the children, for their finances, than mom and dad, right? Or than Mary and John, you know, just use two examples of names. Uh, a judge telling them what to do, another attorney telling them what to do, going through the litigation process, running out of money, and then forced to sign a stipulation of settlement or agreement that doesn't work for one or both parties is not the way to go. And we're talking... Uh, mediation, both parties have a say into everything that goes into all the final paperwork before they sign it. Now we're talking about, in this case, with regards to a separation agreement, a divorce agreement, a custody situation with regards to children. But there are other forms of mediation. And you, we had gone over this list, and I asked you this off air with regards to business. Give me, can you give me an idea what other types of uh, legal issues can be resolved through mediation? What other type of, of mediation have you done, or what other type of mediation is available? Almost anything. Any, any way that there's a dispute it can be um, 
can be solved via the mediation or arbitration process. And there's landlord-tenant, there's contract disputes, roommate issues, you know, business disputes between partners, uh, vendor-vendee disputes, there's elder mediation, there's, um, there's just so many areas, if not all, that can be resolved being this process if it fits. Now, now let me just also say that there is a need for and for litigation in some cases. <clears throat> Everything's, nothing's ever, no matter what you're talking about in the world, is 100% absolute. So there are cases that need litigation. Cases that could be solved easily during mediation and don't need litigation. My, my goal and my mission has always been to educate the public, let them know what's out there and what's available so they can make an educated decision so they don't say 10, 5, 10, 15, 20 years later, oh, I wish I knew that existed, I didn't know, and I, you know, and so forth. So people feel much better when they're able to make a educated decision, knowing all their options rather than being misinformed and saying, telling them other things. Has there, ever been, has there ever been a case that you know of that has been, let's say, currently in the courtroom and has and they've taken it, they've pulled themselves out of the courtroom and gone to a mediator to be able to solve the problem? Yeah, I've, I've had a few cases. I've been mediating for almost six years now. I've had, let's say, probably less than five, maybe off three or four cases where they were going through the litigation process and they nothing was getting done. They were spending a lot of money. They weren't happy either with the attorneys or with the progress. So they've either, a combination of put their attorneys on hold to resolve the one or two issues that were left and then taken the, paper, and then taken the agreement to the um, attorneys to finish the process or just finish the whole process with the mediation process um, and then again save the money, save the attorney's fees and got everything filed. Now you also... They, when someone goes... To, go ahead. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I interrupted you. Go ahead. When someone goes to the litigation process, and I'm just, I can use the example in New York uh, because cause I'm familiar with it, you know, both sides are going to hire an attorney. They're going to pay a minimum of anywhere from five to probably $15,000 for a retainer each, and that's not going to be all-inclusive. So now you're at, you know, ten to $30,000 total. By the time you get to trial or, or depositions or, or anything else along the line, and you're talking about another... Ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars each, and, I, and I'm not exaggerating. I, one of the things I do is I'm assigned for the Part 137 National Supreme Court. I do attorney-client fee disputes, and it, almost every case that I do is a matrimonial case. And when I see these invoices and these bills, I mean they're, they're disputing thirty, forty thousand dollars, you know, fifty-five thousand dollars of attorney fees for for a divorce, and and all these cases, it seems like, at least so far, is that obviously they're not happy with the outcome. They were forced to sign something they didn't agree to or because they ran out of money. And now they owe the attorney, you know, thirty grand, $35,000, $40,000. And what the attorney's allowed to do is, if you don't have the money and you own a home or you own assets, they could put a lien on your home for that amount. So basically, so it's just um, there is it's a, not always the way to go. There is a solution, which is mediation, which is... I want to say uh, a lot more affordable uh, as long as the parties are willing to talk, as long as the two people or however many are involved are willing to sit down at the table and agree that they want to agree. Correct? Right. That's Correct. it. Yeah. And, and, in the, and in the mediation process, the, I have pricing packages. Everything's all inclusive so they know what they're paying um, from the start. So generally, a mediation uh, from start to finish, including all the court costs and paperwork, is less than $6,000 total. Wow. Actually, I have packages that are less than $5,000 total. I'm going to break up the packages. So e even if they need experts or expert evaluations or things like that with a business or pension plans, it could be a little bit more than that. I've never seen more than but like, eight to ten grand range total. But and again, so do you want to spend eight to ten thousand dollars, or six thousand dollars, or do you want to spend thirty thousand dollars each? Now you all, total of sixty thousand dollars. You also do have associations, and you are uh, you you do have associations with attorneys. So if in fact there was a requirement where something needed to go to an attorney, um, you could do that as well if it if it had to be, correct? 
Absolutely. Awesome. Yes. That's good. So you, you are also, and I, I'm looking at your bio here, you're also a, a Jewish doc, you, you're a Jewish doctor. I said, blah, blah, blah. I couldn't talk this morning, but a Juris doctor, uh, you graduated from law school, yeah. now not practicing, not, not of course a practicing attorney, but you have an understanding of law. That's, that's the one thing I found really, really amazing about you, Jeff, is if you look at Jeff Bloom's resume, all right, it's not that he just took a, you know, a, a, a course at home <laughs> and, and decided he wanted to be a mediator. This man is uh, on the John Maxwell team. He's taking courses in, in as I said, through uh, law school. So he, you're talking about someone who is educated. You're talking about someone who is motivated, educated, and concerned, and doing what he has to do, making a living as a mediator. And that's a fabulous thing. And, of course, now you can find him uh, on whenyouneedamediator.com, uh, but also at his website, which is mymediationservices.com. Uh, Jeff is, um, I guess, president, CEO of Creative Resolutions Group, and uh, like he said, he's been practicing uh, in mediation for over six years now. So uh, this is not someone that's just a fly-by-night that just, you know, threw a shingle on the wall and said, you know, hey, let me make some money, you know, taking, you know, taking people to the cleaners. This is a man that knows what he's doing and makes sure that, as he said before, both parties, both parties make out and, and get what they want to get so that in the future they don't say, hey, I don't like that or, hey, I didn't know about that. So. So that's what Jeff. Absolutely. That's what Jeffrey M. Bloom is all about. So Jeff, listen, I want to thank you for taking the time to talk to me today. Um, I think what you do is honorable, and uh, I congratulate you and applaud you for the way. Because I know, I know, I've seen the testimonials, and I know the people as far as what they have to say about you after the fact, and the people that you have helped. And uh, in today's world, that's a fabulous thing. So. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. it. Thank you. All right, Jeffrey M. Bloom, everybody, mymediationservices.com, and also uh, a featured listing on whenyouneedamediator.com. All right, so this is, or has been, should I say, this has been Interview. Uh, Once again, the show that gets a point of view from someone else. We want to hear what everybody else, we want to hear what other people have to say. So thanks, Jeff. Thanks for joining me today. All right, take care.